Hello guys, this is my 50th video in React series and in this video we are going to learn how to fetch API data and how to display that data inside our browser. Now here in this tutorial we are going to learn the concept of states and also we are going to use the concept of use effect and we are going to display this data. Okay, this is the simple data I have fetched. Okay, in our next tutorial we are going to fetch fake API store data and we are going to display that data inside our browser and we are going to make some simple project using that. But first in this video we are going to learn the concepts and we are going to display only the title okay here you can see this entire titles whatever you can see here this everything I have fetched directly from the API and, and here I have displayed this one okay in this video I'm going to do the styling as well if you want to skip you can just skip the styling part but we are just going to do that one okay here totally I'm having 200 records and this entire data is fetched directly from the API okay so let's get started with the course now here inside index.js you can see I have imported react, I have imported react dom, I have imported app and here I have rendered app component. Now once I have used this app component here, now inside this app.js first I am just going to import react, I will just write here import react from react and below this I am just going to create this function, I will just write here app and here inside this function I am just going to re return something. And here I'll just open this syntactic sugar form. I'm using this app component inside index.js. So I'm just going to export this one. I'll just write here export default app. I'll save this here. I'll just write one H1. I'll just write here hello. I'll save this. Now here if I just refresh this one. Now you can see I'm having this output hello. Now from here I'm just going to remove this. Instead of this I'll just write one H2. And here I'm just going to write here react fetch api i'll save this and now you can see i'm having this output react fetch api below this i'm just going to create one div and for this div i'll just give the class name as text inside this div i'll just write one h5 and for this i'm just going to write here title okay later on instead of this title we are going to fetch the data from the api and we are going to display that title here Okay, now once we are done with this, we are just going to style this one. So, I am just going to import app.css file and inside app.css file, I have already imported one Google font. Okay, you can say I have already imported this stylish Google font family. Now, I am just going to use this one. Now, first I will just write here body and for body, I will just give here background color. Background color, I just need here black. Okay. Background color, I am just going to give here black. I'll save this and now you can see here my background color is black and my text is not visible because it is also black. Now here I'm having this text. Now below this I'll just come to app.js. I'll just copy this class and here I'm going to paste that class. Now for this first I'm just going to give background color. Background color let me just give this one. I'll save this. Now you can see this is my container which is having this background color. Now for this, I'm just going to give some maximum width, maximum width of 1300 pixel. Okay, if you are aware of the CSS, then you can skip this part and you can move how we are fetching this data from the API. Okay, maximum width, I have given 1300 pixel and here on my right side, I'm having this left out space. Now this container, I want completely in the middle. So I'm just giving here margin, top and bottom, I'll just give here zero and left and right, I'll give auto so that it will be equally divided between left and right and my container has come in the middle. Now suppose inside this because I am having totally 200 datas. So suppose here I am having 5 more h2s. I will save this and now if you see the output I am having this title here. All the title is being displayed here. But I want in horizontal row. So for that I will just give here display to be flex so that it will come in horizontal row. You can see all the title has come in horizontal row. Now for this, I am just going to give one more property. I will just give here justify content to be center and also align items to be center. I will save this. Now you can see I am having this output justify content and align item is center. And also I am just going to give one more property flex wrap to be wrap because I need only three boxes in each row. So I am just going to give here flex wrap so it will wrap by itself. I will just give here wrap. Okay, now here I am having this output. Now below this, I am just going to style H5. 
now for h5 if i'm first i'm just going to give a display to be inline block because by default our headings are block elements so i'm just changing it to inline block we are just going to style this one now for this i'll just give her width width i'll be giving 20 percentage i'll save this now you can see every h5 has taken 20 percentage of the width now for this i'm also giving some height height i'll just give her 150 pixel and also i'll just give her background color background color let me just give some random color i'll just give this i'll save this one now you can see this is my h1 headings okay this is my h5 headings which is having this green color as their background color and height is 150 pixel and width is 20 percentage now for this i'm just going to give her background image let me just change that one i'll give this linear gradient and i'm just going to give her two right i'll just write here two right and here i'm just going to give her orange and here i'll just give her white i'll save this and now you can see this is my linear gradient effect and here i'm having this output now for this i'm just going to comment this one now below this now for this i'll just give her padding padding i'm just going to give her 20 pixel from all the four sides now here i'm having this 20 pixel of padding now i need some margin i'm just going to give her margin margin of 5 pixel from top and bottom and left and right i'm just going to give her 80 pixel i'll save this and now you can see in each row i'm having three containers three boxes let me just remove this background color i'll save this now you can see in each row i am having three boxes and second row i am having this two boxes because inside app.js i have pasted this five h5s so i am having this output later on i am just going to remove all the h5s and that data i am going to display from api and in this kind of design the data will be displayed so first i am just styling this one now for this i am just going to give some more values some more properties i am going to give i will just give a text align Okay, let me just give a text transform to be uppercase all the data i need in uppercase now if you see all the data has been changed to uppercase and also i need in the middle so i'll just give a text align to be center okay now you can see the text will come in the middle now for this i'm just going to change the font family i'll just come on top i'll copy this font family and here i'm going to paste that one i'll save this now you can see the font family has been changed and for this i'll just give her font weight I'll just give her font weight to be bolder. I'll save this and now here I'm having this output. Now for this I'm just going to style something. Now inside app.js this is my h2. Now here below this text I'm just going to write h2 and for this I'll just give her text align. Text align I'm just going to give her center. I'm just going to change the color. Color I'll just give her pink and here I'm just going to increase the color. Okay, you can give any stylings if you want you can just skip this part i'm just giving the color and also i'm just going to give some margin from top i don't need left and right i don't need from bottom i just need here 20 pixel i'll save this now you can see this is my react fetch api and also i'm just going to change the font family i'll just copy this font family and here i'm going to paste that font family i'll just increase the font size font size i'll just give it 3 rem i'll save this now you can see this is my heading react fetch api now from here i'm just going to remove all the h5s okay i'll just remove all the h5 i'll just keep only one h5 now if you see this will be my output now once i fetch the data that data will be displayed in that fashion okay now we are going to see how to display how to fetch the data from the api now here inside this first i'm just going to create one state and here i'm just going to write here data I'll just separate using comma and here I'm just going to write here set data. I'll just use use state. I'm just going to write here use state. And initially I'm just passing here empty array because whatever data I'm having here, that will be the initial data for this variable. If I want to update that data, I have to update this function and that updated data will become the initial data for this variable. Okay, once we have used use state, we just have to import that one here. I'm just going to import that and also i'm going to use here use effect so i'll just import that one okay now here inside this okay this is my initial empty array now if i just do console console dot log and if i just copy this and here if i just paste that one and if i show you the output i'll save this i'll just inspect this one 
now here inside console you can see i am having this array of 0 and length is 0 which means that my initially my array is 0 okay i don't have any data so i am getting this one now here i am just going to create one function i will just give my function name as get data now here i am just going to use async and await async and await we have already seen async and await is nothing but it is it is only to simplify promises okay we are just going to see this one and using this we are just going to fetch that data now here i am just going to open this one now using this async await we are just going to fetch this data and inside this function i am just going to create one variable and i am just going to give my variable name as response and here i am just going to use here await keyword okay this is going to tell whether till i get the data i have to wait for the result so i am just waiting for some time and here inside this fetch method i i have to pass the api so here i am just going to search for json json placeholder api and from this link i will just open this link scroll down and here you will be having this api i don't need this id one i need only till to do's i will just copy this one because i need all the data and if i show you the output here you can see this entire data title i have to display so i am having this 200 data here so i am just fetching this data i will just copy this and here inside this i'm just going to paste that one okay i'm just going to fetch that one now if i just do console.log and here i'll just want to show response i'll just write here response i'll save this i'll just refresh this one okay now i'm not getting any output because i have to call this function now here i'm just going to call this function I'll save this and now you can see here I'm getting this response and inside this I'm having all the data I'm having this headers I'm having this status I'm having type I'm having this URL okay entire thing I got now inside this this data whatever you can see here this data is in JSON format and this is nothing but it is array of objects because total length I'm having 200 you can see my total length is 200 and it is an array of object and this data is in JSON format because okay this is my key and this is my value you can see key is also enclosed in double quotes and value is also enclosed in double quotes which means that this data is in JSON format now first we have to convert into object so below this I'm just going to create one variable I'll just give my variable name as JSON data and here I'm just going to use this await keyword because I have to wait until I get the result now this response whatever I'm getting here I just want to convert into object so here we have this JSON method to convert now below this I'm just going to do console I'll just do console.log and inside this I'm just going to pass this JSON data I'll save this and now if I just show you the output in my console you can see totally I'm getting this 200 data and this entire data has been converted into object and here I'm having this array of objects data you can see entire data has been printed here okay this is our entire data I'm just going to clear this I'll refresh once now you can see this is our entire data 200 data has been fetched once I have changed the data once I have converted into object now this data this entire data i need whenever i load my website at the starting itself i need this data so i'll be using use effect and inside this i'm just going to call this function okay this function instead of calling here i'll just copy i'll remove from here i'll call inside this function and second parameter i'm just going to give here empty array because each time i don't want to load the entire data once my website is loaded only then i need to show this data so i'm just calling inside this use effect only once now if i show you the output you can see here again i'm having total 200 data inside my website okay inside my console i'm having this data you can see i'm having the same output okay it's just that whenever i load my website i need to show this data here okay even if i perform some action i don't want it to load again and again so i'm just passing this initial data so that only once it is going to load okay now once we are get all the data first we have initialized the data to empty now we have to update that data so to update that data we have this set data i'll just copy this one now inside this function i'm just going to paste that 
and inside this I'm just going to copy this variable and here I'm going to paste that one because this JSON data is having complete array of objects and that array of object will be passed here now. Okay, now that data will become the initial data for this variable. Now if I just show you the output, you can see here for I'll just refresh this one and also I'm just going to remove this console and I'll just remove this console and if I and I'll just show you this console. I'll just come here. I'll refresh this. Now you can see first I'm having this empty array because initially I have passed this empty array and that empty array will be the initial data for this one. So that has been printed here. Once my website is loaded, I'm calling this function and inside this function, I'm just fetching this API. I'm just converting this API into object and just updating that data. So once my data is updated, all the data from the API is being stored inside this. Now that updated data will become the initial data for this one. And now when I print this one, now you can see entire 200 data will be printed. Okay, this is how we are going to print. First, it will print empty. And then once it is loaded, once all the data has been updated, now that data is having all this data and that data is printed inside this console. Okay, now this whatever data I have fetched, I have to show that inside console. Now here, using map method, okay, we have already seen this is nothing but an array. Now array entire data can be accessed using map method. Now below this, I'm just going to write the data which is having our initial array. You can see initial all the updated data, data dot map. I'll be using this map method and inside this, I'm just going to pass this values. Now this values will be having access to all the data, this entire data, whatever you can see here, this entire data, it is going to have the access and this map method is going to run for each object and it is going to return the output values. And this map method is going to return something. And inside the return, I'm just going to paste this H5. I'll just copy this H5 from here. I'll cut from here. And here I'm going to paste that one. And now if I just show you the output, you can see totally I'll be having 200 boxes. Okay, totally I'm having 200 boxes because here I'm having the length as 200. But whatever title I'm having here, I want that title should be displayed. So this is nothing but array of objects and objects can be accessed using object name dot property name. So here now this values will be having access to all the data and in place of this I'll just write here values. This is nothing but our object val object name dot title. I'll save this now all the title whatever I'm having here you can you can see all the title now that title will be printed here I'm just going to close this you can see this is how we are going to fetch the data fetch API data and display in our website and totally complete 200 data has been displayed here okay this is how we are going to fetch the data and in our next tutorial we are going to make simple project using the same concept we are just going to make simple project and we are going to fetch fake API store and we are going to make simple store Okay, that's all for today's tutorial. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great day.